going to continue with Hello Universe. This is chapter 9. When we left off, Virgil and his grandmother were at the Super Saver in the frozen food aisle. And who should appear but Valencia? But she doesn't see him. And he went to the freezer to get some ice cream. And who should he see reflected in the glass? Chet Bullens and his dad. Hi, right, chapter 9. Valencia. My name could lead people into battle. Valencia, Valencia, Valencia. Whether you think it or write it on paper, it's a good, strong name. The name of someone who enters a room and says, here I am, instead of, where are you? Valencia Somerset. Yes, it's a good name. Mom says they were going to name me Amy, but she took one look at me and saw Valencia. My name is one of the only things that my mother and I agree on. Even right now, we're in the freezer aisle at the grocery store and she's reaching for the steak fries instead of the curly fries. And seriously, who thinks steak fries are better? I tap her on the shoulder so she's facing me and says, and say, can't we get the curly kind? The buzz of the freezer hums in my hearing aids and drowns out most of her words but I don't need to hear her clearly to know that she's saying no and talking about how I can buy whatever kind of fries I want when I'm older and have my own money for groceries, blah, 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 whatever. I didn't even want to come to the grocery store because it's boring and she never lets me get anything I want. But she says I have to come because my dad wasn't home from work yet and she needed help loading and unloading the groceries. There's no arguing with her anyway. You never win, never. So now I'm here against my will and I'm already grouchy because I had the nightmare again last night. I woke up with my heart pounding so hard I thought it would burst right out of my chest. I couldn't go back to sleep after that. So I've been awake since before dawn. The only good thing about waking up before dawn is you get to see the sunrise. It happens slow and fast all at once, which is my favorite thing about it. You have to catch it at just the right time. If you do, you can watch the sky shift from gray to auburn, and next thing you know, it's morning. No more darkness. So I survived one nightmare, and now I'm stuck in another. The super saver with mom. Go get me three avocados, she says, like I'm her personal servant. Then she gestures towards the produce section, which is like 500, 500 aisles away. Great. Now I have to find the avocados and I don't even like them. I decide to take my time. I walk super slow and think about all the cool things I could be doing instead of grocery shopping, like studying the bird ne bird's nest outside my parents' bedroom window. There are two baby birds inside. There used to be, there used to be a tree, three. I pretended the third went off on a fantastic journey somewhere. But I know better because I've read all about the nest, the nestling stage, and I know how tough life can be for baby birds. It's hard to protect yourself when you can't fly. Sometimes they fall out of the nest. Sometimes another animal kidnaps and eats them. If I wasn't searching for avocados at the Super Saver, I would be home watching over the other two birds, even though the tree is too high for me to reach them and I have to turn my head at a crazy angle to even get a peek. But still, at least they would know someone was watching over them, like St. Brene watches over me. Even though I think avocados are weird and gross, I'm, ex I'm excellent at choosing the perfect ones. You have to pick an avocado that is darker in color, not too green. Then you place it in the palm of your hand and squeeze, gently, real gently. If you squeeze too hard, your avocado will get all bruised up. You want it to be soft but firm. If it squishes too much, it could be rotten. But if it squishes just a little, it's probably ripe and ready. As soon as I have three perfect avocados, an announcement comes over the loudspeaker and roars in my hearing aids. Something, sometimes I think life is better when you can't hear all the noise. I can't make out every word, but I think I hear specials of the week which means it's going to be a five hour long announcement. I'm close to the automatic door, so I step through to get away from the sound. 
But then I remember I'm holding the avocados and I don't want to be this to be a shoplifter. So I stop where I am and look at this bulletin board near the entry like that was my plan the whole time. The announcement stops as soon as I see something interesting. Kiori Tanaka, psychic. New clients welcome. No adults. Psychic. No adults. I don't know where. I didn't know there were psychics who only specialized in certain age groups. I nibble at the bottom, bottom. I nibble at my bottom lip and stare at the words psychic and no adults for what seems like a hundred years. A thought forms in my head. I know psychics, psychics focus on the future, but I don't care about my future. I'm worried about my right now, and right now I'm sleep deprived. I yank off the card and get the number and pull my phone out of my back pocket. I text the number one-handed. I text the number one-handed, trying hard not to drop the avocados. I'm not as worried about my phone because my mom bought this super protector so the screen wouldn't break if I dropped it, except she says, when, not if, even though I've never broken anything in my whole life. Well, not that she, not that she knows of. She texts uh, Kiori, hi, just saw your card at the store. Do you know anything about dreams? I wait, right away the word bubble pops up. She's typing, yes, I know everything about dreams. I've studied Freud. Would you like an appointment? Someone bumps into me and I realize that I'm standing too close to the automatic doors. I take a step closer to the bulletin board. I'm just about to text back when it dawns on me that the person I'm texting could be a mass murderer or something. Just because the card says Kiori Tanaka doesn't mean the person is actually Kiori Tanaka. Or maybe the person is Kiori Tanaka, but Kiori Tanaka is an insane escaped mad woman who likes to eat 11 year olds for breakfast. I, this is the text. How old are you? How do I know you're not a crazy killer? <laughs> Tanaka types back, I'm 12 and don't be ridiculous. You don't sound 12. The bubble appears again. That's because I'm the reincarnated spirit of a 65-year-old freedom fighter. Hmm, I'm not sure if this makes me feel better or not. I should give this some thought. I slip the phone back into my pocket and walk towards the other end of the store to search for my mother. Along the way, I see this scrunchy-faced boy from school. I think his name is Chet. The reason I know this is because Mr. Piper likes to write names on the board when kids act up, which is totally juvenile. But sometimes teachers treat us like we're seven-year-olds. Teacher and parents have a lot in common. Anyway, this boy's name is always on the board because he acts like a complete moron most of the time. I don't know his last name, but it doesn't matter. I don't even think of him as Chet. I think of him as Scrunch. I know that's not very nice, but what can I say? His face is scrunched up like he's snipped, snipping something offensive. He's got beady eyes and round cheeks, and they're all shoved up together. Meanness always shows on people's faces. Sometimes you have to look hard for it. Sometimes it's just a part of a person's features. That's how it is with this Chet. So Scrunch is walking towards the checkout lanes with a grown-up Scrunch, his dad, I guess. As I'm walking in the opposite direction, I stare right at him as I pass, walk by, because I already know something's coming, and it does. He sticks his fingers in both of his ears, crossing his eyes, and juts his tongue out of the side of his mouth. He's been doing this ever since the first day of school, when he realized I was deaf. He really needs to come up with some new material. You're a doofus, I say. I don't know if he hears me or not, but I don't care let him hear. All right, that was chapter nine of Hello Universe.